Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Dice Tower Digest, where we take a quick look at the news and what's going on in the board game world. Some big stuff going on this week. Of course, to us, the biggest thing going on is the fact that the Dice Tower Kickstarter is live, and you can go check that out at DiceTowerKickstarter.com if you'd like to support what we do on the channel over the course of the coming year in 2020. Then also we have some cool gifts for people who do support us. Come on has announced Marvel Unlimited. Now this is in conjunction with Spin Master. Spin Master's put out quite a few Marvel games over the last few years, including Hail Hydra, one I liked a lot. This is a chibi version of Marvel game. This is the second Marvel miniature game that's been announced in the past year. We don't know a lot of details about it, but Eric Lang, one of the designers, uh, has said that it's going to be different than we've seen before. So while it looks like Arcadia Quest, you know, from a, a glance at it, he said it's going to be a different game. Pandasaurus has a brand new logo and branding. Uh, Pandasaurus, a mixture of a raptor, I guess, or a dinosaur and a panda. The new branding is much brighter and easier to see on the box. Uh, so, a new game has been announced. We actually have promos for this one in our Kickstarter, and that's Takunu Obelisk of the Sun. This is from Danielle Tassini and David Zerke. Um, this is from Board and Dice Games. I'm very excited about this. These are the designers of Anachrony and Teutuhuacan, which I can never pronounce correctly. Anyway, two of my favorite designers together making this game in which you have an obelisk and where the shadow lands, I'm assuming game shadow, not actual shadow, um, will determine how the game plays. Um, really looking forward to seeing how this one works. Targi, one of my favorite two-player games, a great game, is getting a English release for its expansion. Now this has been out for I think a few years now in German only, so finally it's coming out from Cosmos in, uh, as, a, as an English version. Dune was re-released last year. This is from Gale Force 9, and now we got an expansion adding two more factions. Now, I don't know. This is coming out in quarter two of 2020. I don't know if you can play with eight players now instead of six, but there's two more factions. Uh, the I can't even pronounce this. The Ixians and the Telexlaxu. One of them's a cyborg. And I actually... It's been a long time since I've read Dune. I don't remember these people at all. Maybe they're in one of these sequels. Keyforge, very popular, unique card game from Fantasy Flight, is getting books written about it. So there's some uh, books that are going to explain the background and story of the world. From Matago, a new Kemet is coming. Kemet, Blood and Sand. So uh, we uh, just recently, the 1.5 rules were rewritten for Kemet, and this was in preparation for this new release. A redesigned map, bigger and more detailed figurines, and other surprises. So that's, that's really cool. Also, we have an expansion for Treasure Island, which was a deduction game, going around and searching for things, and Seven Wonders Duel. Uh, Bruno Catala and Antoine Baza are working on a second expansion for it called Agora, and this is supposed to be coming out later this year at the Spiel Fair in Essen in 2020. Capstone Games has announced a, the second title in their Iron Rail series. The first one was Irish Gage. This one's going to be Ride the Rails, a three to five player game uh, designed by John Bauer. And it's also going to come out with an expansion. So this will be coming out July 1st. Hobby World has announced SpyCon, another game we have promos for in our Kickstarter. Uh, the, you've, you've heard of Spyfall, a really cool game I like. SpyCon, everyone's getting together, you're going to a spy convention. It's a detective party game, and you're trying to, you, to make people on your team guess what costume you are wearing. Kind of a silly style game, I'm really looking forward to it. Rococo is getting a reprint from Eagle Griffin Games. The Rococo Deluxe Edition is coming out with the design and art from Ian O'Toole. And uh, there, later on this year, there will also be kickstarting Kanban EV, which is a re-release of Kanban Automotive Revolution. So uh, all these giant games coming out from Eagle Griffin. In something that surprises no one, Dominion has another expansion coming, Menagerie. This time it's going to have animals. It's the 13th expansion for Dominion. 400 cards, 30 new kingdom cards. Horses, says the designer, that save a draw for later. Exile mats that cards can be sent to and rescued from. And ways that give actions another option. And events return. Looking forward to it. I like the theme for sure. 
Elizabeth Hargrave has designed Wingspan, a very, very popular game from last year. She's announced a new game from AEG Mariposas. This is a Butterflies style game. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly here. A two to five player game that plays in 45 to 75 minutes. This is coming out in the third quarter of this year. And based on just the fact that she designed Wingspan, I'm very excited about this one. And finally, uh, Fantasy Flight Games has apparently shut down uh, their interactive edition. I mean, their. Um, Basically, the division that controls the apps. They had made the Lord of the Ring card game as an app. That division has been shut down. It seems like it's possible their RPG division is shut down. There's been some layoffs at the company, which is very unfortunate. But their interactive uh, section shutting down, well, we'll see what happens with them as time goes by. That's what happens in the news this week. I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks for watching Dice Tower Digest on the Dice Tower.